Minorities want to know why they're behind as a community, right? This video right here is a prime example. Would you leave your daughter at this daycare? Oh, hell no! Roll me the conceited me? And again, there's nothing wrong with kids having fun, singing songs, and like enjoying life, right? But we're talking about as a community. We're teaching our kids when we're playing music that's uncensored in a daycare and the children don't really even have a full concept of life. But this is what the lyrics had to say. So the lyrics read and say, bend that A over, let that C breathe, shake that A B, hands on your knees. H-O, hands on your knees. H-O, hands on your knees. Shake that A for Drake. Now shake that A for me, right? Bend that A over. Let that cool, let that C breathe. See, look. Go shake that A, bitch. Hands on your knees. This is what the children are singing in the daycare, fam. We're not talking about middle school or high school. We're, we're indoctrinating the children in daycare when they should be reading, spelling, working on their grammar. If them children can't read and spell, they shouldn't even be singing that song because they know the lyrics to that song, but they don't know the lyrics or they don't know the letters to a book or a full sentence. You know, it's just terrible as a generation because you got babies raising babies with today's generation. And again, to the technology, they have superior technology. Everything is at light speed. Everything happens fast. People are moving fast. So the lack of respect, the lack of respect that they have for themselves has completely went out the window. 72% of moms today in the minority community are single moms. And the reason being is the lack of respect that they have for themselves. The lack of respect that they have for the man in the house. If there was a strong man in the house, right? Do you think he would allow his daughter to listen to this type of stuff or allow his daughter to be in places that are not giving them the best care? And again, our generation wasn't flawless. We had our moments. We had yin yang twins, ski, ski, ski to the windows, to the wall, all those different songs. But we wasn't influenced. We wasn't influencing the youth like that. You know, if you were in middle school and high school, those are the songs we remember at that time. And yeah, kids are already developing, but we're talking about toddlers listening to lyrics that have some adult content in it. And this is why, honestly, more and more parents are starting to homeschool the children because of what they're teaching them in the school system. But a lot of parents, like I say, in the minority community, don't have the funds or don't have the opportunity to homeschool their children because they need to work. But I just want to show you this video one more time so y'all can see this is what we're teaching the future youth and the youth are counting on us. What's going to happen to the world? Would you leave your daughter at this daycare? And to all the parents that might be like, Oh, it's not that bad. She just sang in the lyrics. Where would I let my child go and be influenced and learn cuss words and learn lyrics to a song that don't have any positivity to them when their brain is developing, huh? This is why we are lost as a community. This is why we're behind as a community because we think this stuff is okay. This is not okay. And hopefully that our future generation is not doomed. So we're on the road to 4K and 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. I'm bringing y'all this content. I'm putting in this hard work. So if you're not subscribed, like and subscribe now. This your guy, CEO Samuel. We out.